Okay, so now we're going to be looking at binary multiplication. All right, so it's actually a very simple method of, of multiplying these two numbers. And um, you just have to remember that anything times 1 is 1. So 25, for example, in decimal, 25 times 1 is 1. Um, so any number times 1 is 1. And it's the same in binary. So if I take this top number here, and I multiply it by 1, it's the same number. So that's what we have to remember. So what we do is to start off, we look at the bottom number. So we always look at the bottom number. Um, it doesn't matter which number is on top and which number is at the bottom, because it's multiplication. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 2 is still 6. So it doesn't matter which one you put at the top and which one you put at the bottom, as long as you follow the same method. So the bottom number, you're going to work in this direction of the arrow here that I made. Okay, so you're going to go across. And what you're going to look for is you're going to look for the ones. Okay, and the zeros you're going to ignore. So there's the first one over here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little pink box around it. Okay, and then to show that I've indicated that one, and I'm going to say 1 for this one times the top number. Okay, so 1 times that number is the same number. And I'm going to write that number down. So I'm going to write 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, and you can see at this point I'm, I'm not even considering the commas. I'm just ignoring those commas for now. Okay, then we keep going. And where is the second one? It's over here. Okay, so it means we have to skip two places or two positions. Okay, so what I do for that is I put a little circle and I put an X in it. And another circle and I put an X in it. Just to remind myself that I'm skipping these two places. Okay, and so there's the one that I said I found, the next one. So then I say 1 times the top number. And again, it's the same number. So I write it down. So it's 1 one, one, zero, zero, one, one. Okay, and now you can see it's the same number that I wrote down here, which is that number, but I've shifted it to two places or two positions because that's where that one is there. And now I keep going. I say, where's the next one? And there it is right there at the end of the number. Okay, so let me highlight that. So there's the last one. And... How many positions should I skip now? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 positions. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 positions. Okay? And then I say 1 times that top number, and it's the same number. 1, 2, 3 ones, 2 zeros, and 2 more ones. All right. And then I'm done. So I just rule a line. And then I'm going to use binary addition. Okay. And then I just add up the numbers. So this column is 1. 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry 1. Um, 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 ones. So then I put 1, carry 1. Again, I got 3 ones. So it's 1, carry 1. 1, carry 1. 0, carry 1. 1, 1, and 1. All right, so there I've added up the numbers. And then what I do for the comma, very easy. I just, um, let me get a different color here. I'll get green. I go to the two top numbers that I've been multiplying, and then all the digits, the ones and the zeros before the commas on both top and bottom number, I count. So I count one, two, three, four. Okay. So then I go to the bottom where the answer is, and I go one, two, three, four. And I put the comma in front there. And then I just put the radix as two, and there's my answer. And then obviously I'm going to convert that to another number system, whichever number system they ask me. 
Um, just to quickly show you again. So this number is over here once, over here again, and over here. Okay. So if you see, what's actually happening is wherever these ones are, they indicate when we need to write it down. So there, that's in line with that one. I write it down. The next one's over there. So I write down the top number over there. And there's the last one. So I write it down there. And these are the positions. I just put zeros there to show that I've skipped these positions. And then I add up the numbers. So, yeah. The other thing is, last very important thing um, when you see the what the bottom number so this bottom number has three ones okay so it indicates if, if you see there's three ones here you must know there'll be three rows if there was four ones here you would know there'd be four rows okay so i hope that helps